Hello, my name is Philip. I'm in sixth grade, and welcome to my science fair project. Here's my driving question Does the fabric get damaged depending on the dye you use? Here's my background research. Here's my prediction. What I predicted was that my fabric would be affected depending on the dye that I used. Here are my variables. The independent variable, or the variable that stayed the same, are the dyes. And the dependent variable, or the variable that changed, is the amount of damage caused on each fabric. Here are the materials that I used for the experiment. Here's my procedure. First, I made three different dyes according to the extraction. Then I put te two teaspoons of vinegar in each of the three cups. I added 15 milliliters of dye to each cup. I placed one cotton ball in each cup. I left it for 24 hours or for a whole day inside the cup. Then after the 24 hours completed, I removed the cotton balls from the cup. I squeezed out some liquid and let it dry for an hour and then took some pictures to analyze it. Here are the photos of my process. Here are my qualitative observations. For the onion skin, which was one of the ingredients that I used for the dyes, the first trial, the color was bright. The second trial, the, the color was also bright. But for the third trial, the color was a little darker than the other two. For oranges, the first trial, was the color wasn't bright, but it also wasn't dark. For the second trial, the color was bright, and for the third trial, the color was also bright. And then for the grape skin, trial 1 and trial 2, both of them were very dark, but then trial 3 was a little brighter than the other two trials. Here are the photos of my results. Here are my quantitative observations. These codes, I collected them from htmlcolorcodes.com. Here is my hue, saturation, and brightness data. Here are my graphs. And here's my conclusion. The fabric doesn't get affected depending on the dye that you use. Thank you for listening.